Hello, thank you for clicking on the video. My name's Steve and this is Everyman Fragrances. Uh, today I want to talk about a fragrance that I should have spoken about a year ago. Um, and I'm really annoyed I didn't try it sooner to be honest. So I'm a member of a few Facebook groups related to fragrance and the one that I'm probably the most active in is uh, Trusted Scent Sales UK. I was uh, scrolling through there the other day and somebody had put a discussion point about compliments and complimented fragrances. They'd recently got a compliment on a fragrance and it was totally unexpected. Um, annoyingly they didn't say what it was um, but anyway loads of people then started commenting in about some fragrances that they had got compliments on and and stuff uh, like that uh, and if compliments were a load of bollocks you know youtubers kind of saying about the most complimented fragrances and all this and if it's a load of shit and and it was just a big discussion about compliments anyway me being that basic bitch that i am and just wanting to smell good i thought oh i'm going to kind of read through some of these comments and see if there's anything that i might want to try because I'm that guy. Um, anyway, I was scrolling through there and I read a comment and somebody had said that they got a compliment on um, Halcyon from the House of Soma Parfums. And somebody had said, ooh, that's sexy. Now, uh, caught my eye, because I knew that I'd had a sample of that, a little sample tube, which is here. Uh, so it's just a tiny little sample that it kind of got sent to me um, and I hadn't tried it. And I was like, hold on, I've got that somewhere. Why haven't I tried it? And you know what, I then, um, I think it was the next day, I was like, oh, I'm going to try that tomorrow and see kind of how I got on with it. Because I knew I was going out in the cold and I knew this was a bit more of a richer fragrance. And you know what, it's really fucking good. I was so annoyed that I hadn't smelt it sooner. Uh, um, yeah, totally, totally annoyed that it's been sitting there unworn and I could have been wearing this all this time. As I mentioned, this fragrance has got a gorgeous opening. It's kind of a sweet booziness. So it gets the booziness from some rum and it gets some sweetness from some toffee and some cinnamon. In the mids, there's some tobacco, some honey, some tonka. So again, it's just kind of adding to that sweetness. And then in the base, there's some vanilla and benzoin and labdanum, I think, as well. So you get the picture. There's kind of like definitely a sweet accord throughout this fragrance. But um, I must emphasize it's not like sickly sweet it's not juvenile it's not too synthetic it's very well blended and it's a really pleasant sweetness that um, both men and women could wear it's not like girly sweet or synthetic which you sometimes get from kind of like sweet accords um, but you know me i do like sweet fragrances so anyway yeah this has got a lovely opening um it's definitely sweet from the top but you definitely kind of get that boozy rumness so the opening actually reminded me a little bit of Hafez 1984 which is also kind of like a sweet boozy uh, tobacco fragrance but again I emphasize that this is not a um, a clone of anything Soma Parfums are not a clone house they don't cl they're never marketed as one they're not one of these houses that sort of uh, say they're not but they are this is definitely an original creation but i'm going to compare it to a couple of other fragrances to give you some reference points but it doesn't it's definitely not a clone of those but yeah it certainly reminded me it's got a similar sort of style to half 1984 in the opening because of that sweet um boozy kind of tobacco type fragrance that it is as it starts drying down it starts kind of changing a little bit and starts reminding me of another fragrance and that fragrance is uh, Spice Bomb. Um, Spice Bomb is definitely um, lighter in the opening because it's a bit more sort of um, fruitier in the opening. I think there's sort of grapefruit and fruits in Spice Bomb. Um, and then uh, Spice Bomb goes down a sort of bubble gummy kind of sweetness to it. But I say that, that makes it sound kind of quite juvenile and synthetic. And I guess some people would probably say it is, but I don't think it, I personally don't think it is too. Though it's a kind of got a bubblegummy sweetness, I find it quite a sort of comforting kind of sweetness to Spice Bomb that's, yeah, like it's just one of those fragrances that I just find really pleasant to wear and kind of cold weather, and it's also quite an attractive fragrance. But yeah, some people would probably say it's a bit sort of, sort of juvenile with a young fragrance, but I don't necessarily think it is. But anyway, as uh, Halcyon starts to dry down a little bit, to me, it does start smelling, it does have some similarities to Spice Bomb, but it's definitely not a clone, it's definitely different. I've actually got Halcyon sprayed on this hand, and for the sake of the video, I sprayed Spice Bomb on this hand as well, just so I can kind of compare the two um, and sort of maybe try and explain why it reminded me of it. But I must emphasize again that these do not smell the same. It is definitely not a clone, so please don't think it is. Um, I always thought Spice, Got, Spice Bomb had um, benzoin in it as a note, um, and I assume that's where it got its kind of sweetness from, but benzoin isn't listed, so there you go, what do I know? Uh, but yeah, Spice Bomb is a lot lighter than I remember. I'm talking about the EDT version here. It's um, 
yeah, a lot lighter than I thought. It's kind of a bit of fruity, a bit obviously the cinnamon, that's, that's presumably where it gets its sweetness from. Um, and it's a little bit bubblegum, bubblegummy. Um, Halcyon, without a doubt, has got a lot more going on. Um, it's definitely um, much richer, much deeper. It's got more oomph and it's got more going on, without a doubt. It's more complex. Um, the definitely no, one of the big things that I noticed the difference between the two is the rum in um, Halcyon. It's definitely, it's much more noticeable in the opening, but it does remain as it dries down uh, to me. It's certainly kind of got that subtle kind of booziness um, all the way through to the dry down for me, which I really enjoy. I love a boozy kind of rum accord. I like that in a lot of different fragrances like uh, Man in Black, uh, Man in Black Clone, stuff like that. Really enjoy the kind of rum as an accord. So yeah, and then as it dries down, um, Halcyon, it keeps that uh, rum, it uh, maintains some of that sweetness, and um, yeah, the honey and tobacco start kind of coming through, so it kind of just goes in a slightly different direction with that sweetness. It doesn't kind of just stay as sort of full on sort of cinnamon, the honey kind of, it, it's hard to explain, but the sweetness just goes in a slightly different direction to um, sort of Spice Bomb and some other kind of sweet fragrances. But it just remains, it's almost like a little bit, kind of almost a little bit kind of woody to it. I don't know if it's that style of fragrance where like if you read the literature and the blurb on um, Halcyon, and they sort of say that you're sitting in like a library and you're sort of kind of surrounded by kind of leather books and things. And it's that sort of, I don't know if it's kind of put you in that place and it's almost like a phantom note that you kind of get in a library, that sort of woody kind of vibe. But I almost get a kind of like a, a wood from it, but or it might be, almost from association that I'm so used to smelling tobacco, wood, rum to kind of together. But yeah, it's just a really pleasant fragrance all the way through down to the dry down. And as I say, the sweetness does remind me of Spice Bomb, but they are different. Spice Bomb is a lot lighter. It's a sort of more simpler fragrance. Um, and the sweetness does go in a little different direction. So though from memory, like when I smelt it, I was like, oh, that's like half S94. Now it's a little bit like Spice Bomb. And then it sort of, I sort of just almost thought it was like a blend of the two. But when I actually do compare them and smell them, I was like, no, not really. Um, but I can see where I got the idea, if that makes sense. Performance on Halcyon has been really, really good. I've got this tiny, tiny little kind of sprayer that's hardly kind of spraying anything. You can see that I've hardly sprayed much from it, really, even though I've worn it quite a few times. Um, so I'm not getting much out of this, but it's been really noticeable. So just putting this tiny little sprays on this around my neck, I can sort of, it's definitely noticeable for a good few hours um, from this tiny thing. So I'd say it's projecting for a good two or three hours easy. And I reckon if you were putting full sprays on it, you could easily get a full day's wear out of it. So yeah, I've got no issues with the performance whatsoever. So to kind of summarize, as I said earlier, I'm really sad that I didn't smell this sooner. It's a real winner for me. It's right up my street. That kind of sweet, boozy, rum kind of fragrance is just so a bit of me. I so love it. And this one is just a really well-blended kind of um, take on that. It's, um, I say, it's got a lot going on, but it's not too complex and too weird or wonderful. It's still very appealing fragrance. My wife really liked this fragrance. My son liked it. Um, so yeah, everybody that I asked to smell it said that it was really nice. Um, so I think it's an absolute home run for this because I think it's it's got enough going on for the proper sort of frag heads that are gonna like, you know, uh, look for sort of depth and complexity and different notes and chords, but yet it's still kind of um, approachable and mass appealing enough that the sort of the average person is gonna just really enjoy it. So I think it's an absolute winner. So um, yeah, the takeaway from this is um, if you enjoy sweet boozy fragrances like Hafis 1984, like Spice Bomb, even like Spice Bomb Extreme as well. I would say try this. This is more expensive than those uh, fragrances. Um, cost per mil is probably not as bad, but I think it retails for a full bottle about 150-ish or something like that. But so I'd say get a sample. Um, and certainly if you're like getting to the, either if you like those fragrances, get a sample, or if you're you know, getting to the end of a bottle of Spice Bomb or Spice Bomb Extreme or something and you like that fragrance and you want to sort of replace it, maybe think about trying this and replacing it with this and maybe sort of upgrading essentially because this is an absolute banging fragrance. And as I say, I'm just totally gutted that I didn't smell it sooner. Thank you for watching the video. I do really appreciate it. 
please comment down below and let me know what you think to this fragrance or any other fragrances that you've tried from Soma Parfums. As I've said earlier about this one, and uh, I'll say about most of the fragrances, well, all of the ones I've smelled so far from Soma, is they've managed to tread the fine line between making fragrances that are really interesting, have got some depth and complexity, but without alienating the sort of the average Joe that just wants to kind of smell good. So if you're a fraghead that's looking for interesting fragrances, but you've, your missus perhaps isn't, into it and just wants you to smell good. These really kind of tick the box in that regard. So um, I think they've done a great job. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I got sent these samples for free, um, but they're just tiny little samples. Look, it's not gonna influence me. I don't follow hype trains. If anything, I get some pleasure out of derailing them, to be honest, as you guys know, because I just like I like, just like to keep it real and kind of be honest and just kind of cut the bullshit out. So like genuinely, I think these fragrances are really good. They are obviously a bit more expensive than designer fragrances. So that's the only thing that you've kind of got to factor in um, if they're in your sort of price point. They're probably at my upper limit to be honest. I would sort of pay this, I think, for, for the fragrances, but um, just as a general rule, that's probably my limit really up at that sort of 150 pounds mark. Um, yeah, do comment and let me know what you think. And I hope you got something from this video. Um, thank you for watching. I do really appreciate it. And I will see you for your video soon. Take care, much love.